All right, what is up guys? May 2nd, 2017, and today I'm coming at you with Floor System Test 35. Um, I've changed things up a little bit since the last test. Um, we are now back to Simplex devices after I had a request to uh, use some of the devices that uh, I got from the building demolition last year. So um, I was going to do these anyway, but I figured I would just uh, put them on for this test because uh, I had a request to do so. Um, so anyway, um, all Simplex right now, uh, some old, some new. Um, just so uh, those of you who did not see last year's videos know um, the story behind these things, I'll go ahead and tell that really quick. Um, there was a uh, kind of an old building in my town about five minutes from my house here in South Wheaton. Um, it was a J.P. Morgan Chase uh, bank slash office building, um, three stories plus a basement. Um, built in 1989 and a really cool old building that was here and um, uh, it was owned by JP Morgan Chase it was owned by somebody else before that but uh, Chase owned it for a long time then like in 2013 or 2014 uh, they shut down all their operations there um, and um, at some point they sold it to uh, CVS who tore down the building um, to build a uh, pharmacy there. So um, the building was demolished in uh, early 2016, but um, I was able to get in contact with the construction manager who supplied me with uh, a lot of old uh, fire alarm and elevator parts from the building. So uh, I, I made a lot of videos on that whole thing last year. You can go back and uh, check those out. But um, really awesome. Uh, that I, I got to meet this guy, uh, you know, get to know him. The construction manager was just uh, the greatest guy. He pulled a lot of parts out of that building for me. And um, then afterwards, I, uh, when the construction of the pharmacy was uh, almost done, I got to go inside and uh, test the new system they installed there. So uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, a lot of fun uh, I, I had doing that, you know. So... Um, he uh, got me a lot of old uh, devices from the building. Um, wasn't able to get me the main panel. He got me the enunciator panel from the lobby. That's what this thing is. Um, but uh, the system, I believe it was an old Simplex uh, 4002. Either that or a um, something else. But uh, more than likely it was a uh, 4002. Um, the system had these uh, Simplex uh, 4251-20 pole stations. I got three of these. Um, the primary alarms were these 2901-9838 horns on 2903-9101 strobe plates. And um, some newer parts of the building or some, um, some newer alarms in the building were um, these Simplex uh, remote strobes and uh, horn strobes, um, the rectangular ones. I got a couple of those too. Um, I'll have to test those at some point too. Those are sitting over in the pile. I just haven't uh, tested those with this panel yet, but I got a 4903-9219 and a 4903-9252. Uh, um, both of those are horn strobes, but this is a 4904-9176, 15 candela strobe. Um, and I've got that hooked into uh, NAC2 on the panel. I just have this here uh, to put on the NAC2 circuit since this is... Uh, this alarm is uh, set up as a uh, two wire, so the strobe and the horn operate on the same pair of wires. So, um, but uh, they had these mounted in the building on back boxes, and they had the trim plates on them, and I've still got the back boxes and trim plates. I've got two of these. I, I kind of wish I could have picked up some more when I was there. Um, but uh, two is better than nothing, and uh, these are some pretty cool old devices. So, um, pretty much a complete system here from uh, the, the building um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much all there is to say um, all hooked into the 4005 um, and the 4005 is going to be coding the horn to continuous um, I don't know what coding the building used but uh, more than likely it was uh, continuous or uh, March time probably but um Anyway, horn strobe's on continuous, uh, strobe is on steady, and um, there's not much left to say. I guess all I really have left to do is uh, pull the alarm. So here we go. Three, two, one.
I'll tell you, that horn creates a lot of ruckus. Huh. Thought I pressed the acknowledge button on that. Anyway, um, so uh, I still haven't gotten around to hooking up either of these panels, but it'd be really cool to have all this stuff hooked up at the same time. The guy who requested this actually wanted to see everything hooked up at the same time, but uh, I just couldn't do that because of all the overkill. Um, I've got like um, three or four horns from the building, and having those all hooked up at the same time would be a little bit of uh, overkill, but um, it'd be cool to have this thing hooked up, uh, into, uh, tied into this panel somehow, um, and uh, seeing this all in operation at the same time. Um, there is no way I can hook this into the 4005 to where it'll actually, you know, correctly um, display the zone that the fire's in. But um, I can tie it up to where, um, you know, I can just tie uh, a, a bunch of these lights here into the alarm relay or something like that. I've got two of these slots on this card uh, set aside for uh, relay operation. So we'll have to see about that for, uh, you know, the future. I just haven't had a lot of time to work with this stuff. But anyway, reset the pull station and uh, reset the panel. So um, pretty simple, uh, you know, pretty cool old devices here. I'm uh, super glad I got these devices because they really are cool. And uh, if I had not got, um, gotten in contact with uh, the construction manager, um, these parts would have been uh, history. So, um, really neat old, um, very late 1980s simplex parts here. Um, and, uh, especially this panel is very cool. Um, I'm currently the only one to have a panel like this in my collection. So, anyway. All right. We're resets here. And, um, that'll be it for today. Yeah, oh, and also, see, I got the panel down to three troubles, at least for right now, just because I, um put the time and date in, uh, but as soon as I unplug the panel, that'll clear, so, uh, that trouble will come back when I power the panel back up, but, um, this connector is gonna come out pretty soon, and I'm gonna uninstall this card. The card will stay there, just in case I ever decide to sell the panel, but I'm just gonna uninstall the card from the, uh, the CPU, um, so that's not in there anymore, and that trouble should clear, so, uh, that'll be one less trouble on the system, and still trying to get the, uh, grounded power cable and the batteries plugged in and then we should be trouble free so anyway that's your little uh little update there thank you guys for watching today and that'll be it